DC Multiverse! How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. Today, we're gonna take a very brief look at the McFarlane Toys Azrael in Batman armor action figure from the Batman Nightfall storyline. So the packaging for this guy, same as all the rest, black, white, blue. On the other side, we have the name of the character, and on the back, we have an image that this figure is roughly based off of. Really, it's from issue 667 of Detective Comics. As you can see, the figure comes with a trading card and really nothing else. Well, also an action figure stand, because they all do. Of course, as usual, the trading card is the same image as the back of the box, and the back of the card showcases a short little bio. For those of you who maybe don't know, aren't familiar with the character, you could pause to read this if you like to. As for the figure up close, you'll notice that the suit actually has a fantastic texture. I'm down with that. I like the fact that it's not completely smooth, and most of the parts of the body that are supposed to be a certain color have been molded in that color. I know that some people don't like that so much. I personally do, because because that means we have to deal a whole lot less with paint rub. However, you'll also notice with this figure in places like the gauntlets here, there is a complete lack of the proper color paint. Like, back here should be silver, along with the claws on his gauntlets, they should also have been painted silver. And these two pieces right here on each gauntlet also should have been painted gold. And finally, the neck here probably should have been painted a silver color as well. But overall, the figure does look pretty awesome as far as the sculpting goes. I don't recall him having this much detail in the abs area of the armor. You can see going around the back here, not a big deal. I feel like it actually kind of adds to the look of the character. I like the way that the golden armor that goes around his chest here has been nicely sculpted. I love these utility belt pouches here and the ones around his legs. They look really nice as well. The little spikes on the edge of his boots here that have been nicely sculpted, and they're soft enough that they're not just gonna snap off if you if you bump into them too hard. These corner bits here on the top of his chest armor, I suppose, <laughs> they're soft enough that they're not gonna snap off either. And this Batman's face sculpt looks pretty awesome. I love the sculpt for this. The only thing that I really will say I feel that Todd perhaps could have chose a little bit better would be the light blue is a little bit too light. Like, it's a lot too light. Like, this here should probably be about the color it should be. And this, again, this is just far too light. Oh, and the cape. I should probably talk about the cape. The cape is big and drapey, just like in the comics. The rubber is soft enough that, you know, if you're posing him and you have something to hold the cape out of the way, it's really movable. It's not a super huge pain in the butt, so... I may replace that with a cloth goods cape. I'm not sure at this point. I suppose it all depends on how much it gets in the way or not of the articulation, which is he's got the torso articulation in here, and that's that's a really that's a really good range of motion. No complaints like that very much. And the waist, um, it's it it it, it actually articulates here below the utility belt. So you do get a range of motion, a full one, below the utility belt. The arms, you've got those great big sockets and the rounded hinges. It is kind of weird that they're light blue on the inside. I'll probably paint those. And you do get at least, you know, a full arms out sort of pose with him. These, although they are a softer rubber, they, they still definitely will get in the way. So you're looking at his arms going up Oh, about that with those shoulder bits. We can see that there's a bicep swivel as well as double jointed elbows that go right in as far as can be expected. And then you've got no articulation here at the top of the glove, the gauntlet, but we do have that wrist articulation where you can see there's a rounded hinge, clicks into place. Ooh, gummy little fingers. They're really squishy. And oh look, Typical articulation down here, and what does it get? That gets a great range of motion, no complaints whatsoever. Very much uh, nothing as far as at least the appropriation of <clears throat> this sort of articulation here. A little bit, a little bit. I take back nothing, it's a little bit. Then we have double jointed knees. We have ankles that are sculpted to look more like the suit. These are even textured, I like that. And, of course, they've got a pivot and a little toe crunch right here. 
So not bad as far as articulation goes, but as far as the comparisons, first off, here he is standing right side by side with the Todd McFarlane Year 2 Batman. And then here he is with a Batman, a Nightwing, and a Tim Drake Robin. The Batman's DC Essentials, and the Tim Drake and the Nightwing are both DC Direct. And then here he is with the Mafex Asbats, as well as the DC Universe Classics. It's clear that the DC Universe Classics is a later iteration of Azrael's Batsuit. He kept changing it as time went by. Anywho, what do I think about this figure? Honestly, super stoked that Todd made him. Yes, he will definitely need some paint touch-ups and details. If you're like me, that's going to be something that you'll do probably right away. But even as is, I still think that he's a pretty great addition to Todd McFarlane's DC Multiverse action figure line. Now, as to where I found this guy, I actually ended up buying him from an eBay seller based in Hong Kong because he's not yet released in North America. He hadn't even been officially revealed at the time when I bought him. Did I pay too much for him? Hell yes. Do I regret it? Hell no! Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do to keep the algorithm remembering who you are so that you don't fall away into YouTube obscurity because it no longer suggests your videos to new potential viewers. Anyway, that's all for me. So thank you so much for tuning in and watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Have a DC day, everybody, and take care.